Welcome to the second video in this self-help program for long-term sleep problems. In this video, we'll introduce an essential tool in this treatment, the sleep diary. It's essential that you monitor your sleep with a sleep diary during the treatment process, as the techniques later in the program are based on sleep data you collect with it. To find the sleep diary, do the following. See the video description. Here you find a link to a mobile application that you're going to use in this process. When you start the app, you will be asked when you want to start. Declare an appropriate day to begin, for example, today. This will transport you to the diary window. Here you will find each day of the week. The app will automatically start with the day you declared as your start time. The days ahead are locked until you reach them. Now start with filling out how you slept the preceding night. Be aware that some of the questions asks you when, for instance that I went to bed at 11 p.m. And others ask you for how long, in terms of minutes and hours. For example, I was awake for one and a half hours during the night. The last question asks you how much you slept during the day. Please note that the sleep during the day is not added in your total sleep time. The estimates and calculations that are logged and presented only include sleep during the night. When completing this self-help program, you should avoid sleeping during the day. Why this is so will be explained later in the program. Once every question is answered, you press the button below, which will let you assess your overall subjective sleep quality on a scale from 1 to 5. Now you will be presented with a summary of how much you slept and were awake during the night, plus your sleep efficiency, which we will review in the next module. If you need to change something in the previous diary entries, use this button. If something goes wrong and you want to restart the app, press the links button and then press reset data. This will restart the app and delete all your information. This app stores all information locally, so all your information will be deleted if you delete the app. To follow your progress, use the development button. Here you will find weekly averages from all your diary entries. Future weeks are locked until you reach them. If you press this icon, then you can assess a graphic depiction of your progress. We recommend that you start your sleep diary and register your sleep for at least one week before moving on to the next module. The information you fill in this week will be used to calculate a sleeping schedule, which is the core feature of this self-help program. You may wonder if it's important to be super accurate when you register information in your sleep diary, and if you have to watch the clock while falling asleep. And the answer to this question is a definite no. The times you write in your sleep diary should be your ballpark approximations. This means that you write in about what you think is correct, without focusing on the clock in bed. Research shows that people are accurate enough when they make these sorts of estimates. In fact, we recommend that you turn away any bedroom clock, if you have one, to prevent yourself from getting overly focused on the time and your sleep. I've already mentioned that filling in a sleep diary is an important part of this treatment, but it's so important that I'll say it again. This sleep program relies on the completion of a sleep diary. If you choose not to register your sleep in the sleep diary, then you cannot expect any positive effects of the techniques that come later in the program. You'll find a link to the next video in the video description. See you in one week. Good luck!